The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create a quiz in Edmodo. First thing you need to do is go to www.edmodo.com and log into your account. After you've logged in, you'll be taken to your home screen. Come up along the top and click on quiz and click on create a quiz. You'll be taken to the quiz editing screen. First thing you want to do is title your quiz. Title your quiz. And I'm going to title this Geometric Shapes. You can put a time limit if you want. The maximum it looks like is 60 minutes. I usually give about 15. I don't usually give very long quizzes. And then you can start adding your questions. You can add one of four types of questions. Multiple choice, true, false, short answer, and fill in the blank. We're going to create a little fake quiz here and I'm going to show you how to create it using each one of these question types. So our first question is going to be multiple choice. So you're going to click add first question. Then you can assign it however many points you want up here. But then you add your question prompt. So what is the name for a shape that has three sides? And if you want to give them anything from the internet, you can post a link here. Or if you have a picture or a document from your library that you want to upload and attach to this, you can do so. Then you type in your responses. Uh, square, triangle, and if you want more than two responses, you click on add response. Uh, trapezoid. <laughs> so then you have to click the correct answer. This is something I usually forget to do, especially with multiple choice. So obviously the answer is B, triangle, so you click on set as correct answer. Now you're done with that question, you want to add your next one. So you come over here to the left and click on Add. So let's try this time adding a true-false question. Again, assign it to the number of points that you want and type in your question prompt. So this is, let's see, a square is a shape that has three sides. So again, attach any media that you want to. Come down and obviously mark the correct answer and then you can add another question. So come over here to your add button and this time let's add a short answer question. Again you can assign however many points you want. We can change the points here. We'll make this one five points and then you type your question pr uh, prompt. Write the differences between a square, a triangle, and a trapezoid. <laughs> and what they'll see on their end is they will have a little space to answer that question. So again, there's no right or wrong answers for this. If, when you're going to the grade quiz screen, what you're going to have to do is grade each of these individually. You'll have a correct and incorrect button, but that's for another tutorial. So there's your short answer question. So let's add the last type of question, which is your fill in the blank. A square has, now here's where the key is to a fill in the blank. Use your underscores to let them know where the blank is. Again, if you want to attach anything, you can. Down here is where you put the answer. So, the key to this is, and it says, quiz takers will have to answer in the exact order for the question you marked as correct. In other words, they have to type exactly what you type. So especially if it's a number, you'll have to tell them either to write the word or the number. So we'll, in this case, have them write the word as four sides. So, let's say we're done with our quiz. We can preview the quiz. And this will show us what it looks like to kids. Kids will get this when they start the quiz. They'll click Start Quiz. And you can look at each of the questions. Obviously, here's your multiple choice. Here's your true-false, short answer, and the fill-in-the-blank. So when you're done, you can end the preview. It will take you back to the quiz editing screen. And then you can assign the quiz to a certain group. Let's say I want to assign this. We'll take you to this screen. We'll say the due date is today. And if I want to send this to my biology classes, I can. So I'd click on that. Then I'd click send, and it would show it to my biology classes. And then they would click on take quiz. So that is how to create a basic quiz in Edmodo.